They were romantically in love uh, from the day that they decided we don't need a big wedding and we don't need anybody's okay, yes, this is a good thing. We're going to go and do it because we want to be together uh, until the day that grandma left this earth to join Papa again. Hi, and welcome to Chronicles of Nani. I'm Nani. Uh, this is the place where I usually talk about my life living with progressive multiple sclerosis and living in a wheelchair. And sometimes I don't talk about those things at all because I still have an actual life aside from the challenges that I face in life. Uh, I really would like to uh, encourage you to subscribe. This is a, a, a informative, fun, um, sometimes not so fun. Uh, I'm personally an optimist, tempered with realist, so I, I'm always trying to come up with ways to face the challenges that I have in life with a smile. Uh, realistic enough to know that Every day is not going to be like that, and I'm also not afraid to talk about some of the really sucky things that go with my condition. But I'm also a person living in the same world that every one of you watching is. So there are things that I talk about uh, that are going on in the world, uh, things that are affecting me, not affecting me, bugging me, making me happy. And I try not to step on toes, but sometimes I can do that too. So it's a good place to subscribe and uh, take a look and see what I come up with every week. Uh, this week is something different and it's something new. First thing I'm going to do, because uh, winter, uh, heating the house in winter. Uh, dries me out and this is my uh, Leo coffee mug the truth is that out of the uh, over 300 coffee mugs that I have almost all of them there's a story I can tell you something about the coffee mug where it came from you know what I was doing when I got the mug um, or who gave it to me this one, honestly, I can't tell you anything about. I have no idea where I got it. I've had it for a long time. Um, I think it was probably a stocking stuffer or something. Um, so it might be something that mom found at the dollar store and added to my stocking. Um, because that is my Zodiac sign up, Leo. And it says that I'm... Uh, strong and courageous and blah 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 and you know all kinds of good things on it and it t says that I'm creative and it kind of goes with the vlog today uh, because considering that I can't even stand I can think on my feet pretty well still uh, which is what I had to end up doing today uh, the plans to do a vlog about music have been on the upcoming and get some information together uh, list uh, folder on, on my desktop for quite a while. And I kind of started thinking about different kinds of music, what they do for me, what they say to me. And I have very eclectic taste in music. Um, th there's a lot of Frank Sinatra, Glenn Miller, um, and classical music in my library. There's country, there's rap, um, there's everything in between. 
uh, lots of pop stuff, old 90s new music, um, and a few playlists. Uh, one of the playlists is uh, music that I listened to when I was finishing my college degree. And that includes a lot of music that was played at Tiger Stadium because that was one of my multiple part-time jobs. And, and there's another one that's uh, called uh, Torina Growing Up. And it's songs that Tori and Marina enjoyed listening to when they were growing up. Uh, so it's, you know, when, when I'm in the mood to listen to something particular. Uh, I have a couple of artists that just, if I'm in the mood to listen to Just Triumph, I have a list that plays Just Triumph. Uh, I also have a list that plays country love songs. Uh, because that's the one thing in country I absolutely adore. There are some beautiful love songs. Um, however, it's kind of generic. It's the so many country love songs are beautiful love songs. They don't have great striking meaning. Uh, it's just that if I'm in the mood to listen to country love songs, I have a playlist for that. I'm not going to be talking about stuff from that playlist today. Um, however, it is love songs. Uh, since it's right after Valentine's Day, it's a good time to talk about love songs. And uh, I have a list called Remember. And it is a list of songs that remind me of certain people or certain moments. That every time I hear the song, it reminds me of that person. It reminds me of that thing. Uh, and what I've chosen to do is I I'm going to introduce you to three love songs off the Remember Planet list and uh, talk just a little bit about them. The first song from that playlist that I'm going to mention is To Each His Own and that's by Al Martino where the re recording I've got is. Uh, and that was Grandma and Papa's song. My grandparents eloped and uh, the chorus in the song um, says, and I'm trying to remember the exact words, to each his own, I found my own, one and only you. Uh, and that was their song. Uh, they were married 50 years before my grandfather died. And my grandmother followed him 16 years later and never dated again uh, because she said she had no interest no one's ever going to be able to spoil me and make me feel like your papa did. Uh, and whenever I hear that song, I think of them. And they were romantically in love uh, from the day that they decided we don't need a big wedding and we don't need anybody's okay, yes, this is a good thing. We're going to go and do it because we want to be together. Um, uh, until the day that grandma uh, left this earth to join papa again. Uh, also uh, on my uh, remember playlist, uh, Kenny Chesney, uh, you have me from hello. Not gonna get into lots of details and names on that one, but uh, that always reminds me of a very special person in my past. Um, it was the song that was playing the first time that, for whatever reason, uh, he came up behind me and sort of put his arms around me and started massaging my shoulders. And it was sort of a magic moment. And every time I hear that song, I think about him. Um, and it was words that weren't said that should have been said or said differently, but we, we had a great arrangement. And in the end, it was 
things that could have been said better that ended something that I wish was still there today. Another song that's not actually on the list, but it should be. Uh, and I'm trying to find the song to add it to the list is uh, Larry Stewart, uh, She Needs Me. And that is a song that came out in 2007, I think. Uh, the album came out in 2007. And that song is, it, it describes, I, I never actually wanted to get married. Uh, but it describes if I should ever come across a man who can feel this way about me, ultimate respect, ultimate love. If I can find a man that can feel this way about me, I might change my mind on the whole marriage thing. I haven't met that man yet. The longevity in the uh, string of my family that I'm the, the most physically like uh, is uh, pretty far. So I can seriously look at it and say, I'm not even quite 56 years old yet. It could still happen, you never know. Um, but it's not something I was ever looking for. So it's something that would have to find me. Uh, but it's a beautiful song about respecting a woman's strength and that she doesn't need you to pay her way. She's got her own, she's got her own career. Um, she doesn't need flashy diamonds. But when she needs love, she needs me. That's a man that was uh, proud and loving. So that's definitely third song in that uh, lineup. So that one makes me think of me. Maybe on a sadder note, it makes me think of uh, had I been able to continue to work had I been working on my career. That is something that eh, could have happened, could not have happened, it didn't matter. Uh, but it was something that was out there in my opinion. If I find that, then maybe. So those are three love songs that aren't necessarily romantic love. Uh, but uh, now here's my challenge and the music vlog is always going to have a challenge at the end no matter where you watch Chronicles of Nani from uh, if you watch it on YouTube um, which we go back to the uh, if you're watching it on YouTube and you don't subscribe please subscribe uh, but if you're watching it on YouTube or if you are linking to it from face, my Facebook page, my Twitter account, or if you are watching my blog, which is chroniclesofnani.blogspot.com. Uh, there's a trend there, but it's a healthy trend. Uh, my challenge to you is simply to tell me what the most meaningful love song is to you. You don't have to explain why, you are welcome to, but leave it in the comments wherever it is that you watch Chronicles of Nani from and put hashtag Chronicles of Nani love songs. Uh, that's also going to be in the writing for every place that the vlog is posted so you can cut and paste that hashtag. Uh, but Make sure you put the hashtag on it and just tell me what your favorite love song is. Uh, it's up to you if you wanted to go into uh, why it's your favorite love song or if you just want to say it's your favorite love song. And encourage friends to uh, play along and uh, just put their favorite love song um, as a comment to your comment and tell them to remember to put that hashtag on because uh, that will lead me to 
check out all the answers. I'm looking forward to see what everybody else has for opinions and thoughts on their favorite uh, love songs, the songs that make them feel romantic. Um, or songs that are romantic and make them feel something a little different. So that's the end of the first installment of Chronicles of Nani Music. So I hope you enjoyed uh, just a little sampling of uh, love songs that I'm attracted to and that you'll definitely let me know what love songs do it for you. Uh, and until next week, have a fantastic week and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.